Today I'll be teaching you for the long-awaited tutorial how to turn yourself into a Navi, the blue people from Avatar, in GIMP. So your original image, which I chose and will display the link in the video description, looks like this. As you can see it's just a good picture of someone's face and we're going to turn it into this. This was my first draft, my first try, and then this was my latest one. So I'm just going to close these down. Now I already have mine open, so I'll just open that up. And you want to open your base image, your stock photo. And like I said, I'll be using this photo of good face. Um, I'll put the link in the video description. It's free, no copyrights, unless you use it to make money. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our heel tool, which looks like two band-aids, one over the other. Make sure that your brush is set way up, like scale of 10, and the brush is your biggest circle fuzzy brush. Take that and then just click, con hold control, sorry, and click somewhere on the forehead. And what we're going to do is just paint over her eyebrows. We're just going to erase them entirely. So how the heel brush works is it takes your source image, which is this, where you press control click, and it takes the texture of your source, which is, yeah, this thing, and it pretty much just pastes it where you click. So if I click here, it'll take the texture of this, of my source, and paint it on the eyebrows. So we just want to click all over here, and this image is huge, just simply huge. If you look, it's only zoomed in at 25%. It's the equivalent of 100% of most photos. So it may take some time for pretty much everything to operate. Make sure you hold control and click at different places so that your source is not the same all the time, so that the textures don't remain the same. Um, and just erase over the eyebrows like so. Okay, there we go. Now, in your Layers dialog, which can be opened by going Windows Dockable Dialogs Layers, we're going to hit this double image icon, and what this will do is duplicate the layer, so that now we have two of them, and we're going to go Filters, Distorts, Eye Warp. And iWarp is the tool we're going to be using many times in this tutorial. And just a pointer is keep it in the top left co corner and then drag this bottom right corner to the edge of the screen to make your preview bigger so that you can actually see what you're doing. Now, um, the preview will be blurry at first, but once you, uh, yeah, iWarp enough, then what it will do is focus the image more. I'll just reset that. Okay. So what we're going to do is take our move deform. Make sure the deform mode is set on move. So the deform radius at about 45 and the deform amount at about 0 0.45. And what we're going to do is we're going to reshape her nose so that it's more the shape of a Navi from Avatar. So um, we'll just click in the middle and then drag it over. And as you can see, the nose moves and grows and we have to make it wider in most parts and skinnier at the base so like so and at the bridge of the nose make sure it gets wide here don't worry about the eyes um, because they will be fixed next step so if you squash them a bit that's okay um, and make sure that the nose just kind of bridges out to where the eyebrows were previously before we erase them and the bottom, in the shape of the bottom part of the nose, has to be square and then kind of like a pointy tip. Now the tip is kind of tricky because, um, well, most no noses aren't shaped that way. But just do the best you can. And also, her face is facing slightly to the right, so make sure that you comp compensate for that also. Now we just want the basic shape, so as you can see the nostril looks kind of weird, 
that's okay because we just need the shape of it so this is probably one of the hardest parts in the entire tutorial so spend more time on this and you'll get better results as my motto should be um, so yeah just click and drag until you have the right shape um, do better than me I'm just doing a quick job like that and then just click OK once you're done and you'll see once it eye warps the nose will be drastically changed yes drastically now the reason we duplicated the background layer is so that we can fix the eyes if you squash them up a bit now in the first couple of times I completed this avatar conversion I squashed the eyes up quite a bit so this step was more important um, what we're gonna do is right click on our background copy and click add layer mask and this dialog should pop up it says add layer mask as the title and we want to make sure it's set on white full opacity and click add now in another one of my videos I'm pretty sure it was blending images in GIMP the one with the dog and the pokeball um, I explain more about how layer masks work so if you don't really understand my explanation now don't um, just check out that layer um, that blending video so basically how I think about layer masks is when you add a layer mask it sets your top layer or the one that has the layer mask it sets it as the mask itself and then the one behind it is the face so in my case the regular layer would be the face and the edited layer would be the mask so now the mask seeing as it's white when you paint with black over it you'll see it paints through it it's pretty much like cutting a hole in our mask so that you can see the face behind it right which is our original image in this case so we'll just undo that so pretty much to paint when you paint you're cutting a hole in your mask so you can see the face behind it now we're going to take our fuzzy brush make sure it's set on black and paint on the eye so that it doesn't look as warped because that eye did definitely did not look natural and it needs to be now it may get a little bit fuzzy around this edge of the nose so if you want to zoom in um, just to fix that up a bit use a harder brush your choice um, I'm gonna leave it like that so now what we're gonna do is in our layers dialog which I believe I told you how to open before um, we're going to right click on our top layer and click merge down what this will do is it'll automatically apply the layer mask which means cut the holes out of the mask and and so it's just a regular layer again um, and then since we click merge down it'll also join those two layers together so what we want to do now is go filters distorts distorts eye warp or we could also go reshow eye warp since that was the last filter we used and again I'm going to make my preview a bit bigger though it's not as necessary this time and now we're going to set the deform mo mode on grow and yeah we could probably leave these settings the same and we're going to click a couple of times on the pupil now as you'll notice um, what this does is it makes the eye far bigger and this is good actually we like this because if you notice the Navi their eyes are quite a bit bigger than and more circular I find than normal human eyes so we'll do that and then take the move tool again and set the deform radius down a bit maybe about 27 and then we just want to drag the corners of the eye in and uh, this is simply because that's the way their faces are shaped now the other eye we can't really see it too well so it's not a big deal but you might want to add that to this side I guess it's kind of optional not a big deal in fact I messed it up this time but don't make it look like this make it look more straight line down and you should be fine so I'll just click OK and this will drastically warp our eyes so that they're much bigger now